we're back. Oh boy. With no hat still, which is bogus. Um. I miss my hat. I love my hat. It was a good hat. What's in here? Hello? They'll come looking for me, you know. Well, maybe they'll come looking for those old Driscoll boys we killed at that ranch down the way. Yeah. Declan? Fat Tommy? He didn't get as far as introduction. <laughs> you know what I need, sir? I need myself a fine looking hat like yours. Yes, yeah, sir. Hey, big man. Huh. <coughs> Why, well, hello there, Mr. Morgan. We're okay. We have a few cans of food and a rabbit. For what? Ten, twelve people? When I was in the Navy. I, I do not wish to hear about what you got up to in the Navy, Mr. Pierce. Yeah, none of that you gay shit. You at sea for 50 days. And you unfortunately survived. When we ran away from Blackwater, I wasn't able to get supplies in. Well, when government agents are hunting you down, sometimes shopping trips need to be cut short. We'll survive. We always have. And if needs be, we can eat you. You're the fattest. <laughs> I sent Lenny and Bill hunting, and they found nothing. Well, Lenny's more into book learning than hunting. Bill's a fool. Unless those mountains are full of game that want to read, ain't no wonder they found nothing. enough of this. We'll go find something. Come on, Arthur. Wait a second. Hold on. Is it a new hat? Here. You're gonna need something neat out there. Assorted salted off. Starving will be preferable. Come on, let's go. You can't go hunting. Look at your hand. I can't stay here listening to you two. Look, if this game in those hills, I'll find it. And you can kill it. You need to rest, Charles. You think this is a rest? Yeah. Come along. All right. Here, you take this. I can't use it, and you'll have to. Oh, you're joking. Use I don't want to know. We'll scare off every animal for miles around. You're never too old to learn, I imagine. Man, I don't want no bow and arrow. This way. Well, what about? Well, what about my hat? How are you holding up, Charles? I'm okay. Apart from this hand, stupid mistake. Still mm. bad. It'll be nah. in a day or two. Well, it... I just can't pull a bow right now. Uh, I'll pull you. Well, I can. Never really got the hang of it. You'll be fine. <sighs> so, you ready to go find something to kill? It ain't no Driscoll. Huh. There's meat up here for sure. Pearson doesn't. I can smell it. Out. Now the weather's eased off a bit. They'll be needing to feed. We'll head up this way. Find some higher ground. Will we? Whew. Been a wild few days, all right. That right north from Blackwater, getting stuck in the storm. Going yeah. John, yeah. With the old Driscolls. You've had a lot put on you. I wish a lot. Have done more. I didn't mean it like that. Just a lot to think back on. I still don't really know what happened on that boat. I do. Well, Javier told me a bit, but it sure weren't good. Bum <laughs> bum. Oh 
Oh, is the guy I work with telling me about how great the uh, horse testicles were in the game? I'm not sure why. But hopefully we can get to see some good horse testicle graphics going on soon. Cause what? Why not? Why would I pay sixty dollars for a game if I don't get no horse uh, testicle action? I guess you know. I don't know what I'm saying. See some of the ground uncovered here. Come on, let's try this way. Keep your eyes peeled for movement. Can we just eat the horse? One of the horses. The winds died down too. That's good. No wind at all is bad, but if it's too strong, they won't move. Now shh, stay quiet. Yeah, shut up. No one likes you. Oh boy. Hey, stop here a second. I see something. Do you? I should probably. How can you tell? Ah. Drag the wrong foot. Keep down. Move quietly and slowly. Yes, Dad. Oh, there are tracks. See the tracks? I don't think so. Maybe not. Yeah. Focus. Yeah, I see it. It's easier in the snow, but once you get your eye in, you'll be able to track nearly as well in grass and woods. I bet. Good for us. Which way did it go? Yeah, I pressed the wrong button. Okay. Kind of shot an arrow. R1. Which one? R1. That's R1. Oh boy. Wait, look. There they are. Quick, get that bow out, Arthur. I see it. Nice. Another one. It's another one. I don't see no other one. What do you do with it? Ah. So we're just going to leave the meat there? Yeah. 
No? Okay, I guess we're gonna keep going. Where's my horse? Made up of Charles. I can do that. Yeah. Ready to head back when you are. Come on, then. Let's head back. Do we gotta? Nice work, Arthur. Should be enough meat here to keep us all fed for a few days. You found him. Huh. Knew you'd be okay with that bow. It's easier when they ain't shooting back. Yeah. Considering how things were looking a couple of days back, well, maybe our luck is finally on the turn. Don't say that. Me, we should be putting our effort into getting off this mountain now. Soon. People are still weak, and well, you've seen how snowed in those wagons are. They ain't going nowhere until we get some more thaw. Mm -hmm. You're probably right. And even if we do get off here, what then? We'll still have a big price on our heads. And no hats. Big country. We'll find somewhere to lie low. Dutch and Jose will have a plan. But do they have a plan to get my hat back? Notice how Pearson's had a bottle in his hand ever since we fled Blackwater? We give the camp cook five minutes to grab the essentials and go, and he doesn't even bring a crumb of food. Good that we caught more than one. We've only been up here a few days and have already picked up two more mouths to feed. One more. We ain't feeding Neil Driscoll a damn thing. Except maybe that can of salt and awful Pearson was kind enough to give us. The girl, she has a wild look in her eye. Yeah. Of course. She lost her husband, her home, everything she had. So what do we do with her? Kill her. Once we get out of here and we're back on our feet, we'll see. She might have family somewhere. Who knows? Maybe she'll deal with the O'Driscoll for us. <laughs> well, I know who my money's on in that fight. He's weak, but that makes him much more useful. Maybe we can get to them before they get to us. What is it with the O'Driscolls? You ain't no. them? I suppose. Hell, we ain't run into them much the last six months. No way. I guess because they've been over this way. Uh, Word. I've heard a lot of talk about them. Well, we've been scrapping over scores with them for years. Watch out. Bear up ahead. Let's see if we can find another way around. Uh, 
must be real hungry. Stay well back. What are you doing? Shoot! Oh dear. Oh dear. Oh, oh gosh. I thought I could take him. I thought I could get take him. I was wrong. <laughs> Talk that much, you and me. How long you been with us now? Five, six months? Yeah. Something like that? <coughs> you didn't expect this. What? Any of this. What? Like water mess. Being up here? Ah. Uh, sooner or later, a job's gonna go wrong. Nature of life. I just thought you might have moved on by now. You want me to move on? No. Oh, not at all. I just know you could run it alone, no problem. I did that for a long time. Yeah, I'm well. Done with it. I was wondering if someone's gonna kill you in your sleep. I'm still wondering that most nights. <laughs> I reckon you're okay. This suit I mean. Is... Sure, I could fall in with another gang, but Dutch. You know. Dutch is different. Oh, yes. But she's certainly different. He treats me fair. Most of you do. And for a fellow with a black father and an Indian mother, that ain't normally the case. Well, we need you now. Do ya? More than ever. Good. And how long have you been with these boys? Why ain't you run off? Me? Oh, 20 years, something like that. Since I was a boy. Since I was a boy. Yeah. He taught me to read. John, too. He taught me a few other things. Him and Hosea. Huh. I'm sure. Dutch saved me. Saved most of us. That's why we need to stick by him through this. Do we? He always sees us right. I got a feeling Dutch will betray us. Well, that's I'll just me. He's all right. He'll do for now. I appreciate you letting me take Taima the other night. She's a strong one. It's been as hard on the horses as on the rest of us. I don't know what Dutch would do if something happened to the Count. Same with Bill and Brown Jack. He's a drunk, miserable bastard, but... Where's that bear at? That horse. <laughs> I hope they all make it. I tried to ride the count once. Oh, well, I guess we don't got to deal with the horse and the bear again. <laughs> Me faster than a bull. Won't take nobody but him. Yeah, that's right. We got food. I'm going to hitch time over here. Brought some food back, boys. Hitch your horse. There we go. Uh, come on, let's get these over to Pearson. Uh, thank you for showing me how to use the bow properly. I only showed you a little. It takes a lifetime of practice to master. Come on, can we remove the deer? There you go. Can't wait to see the look on this motherfucker's face. What a surprise. I find a camp rat loitering around in the kitchen. Is that any way to greet an old friend? I feel like we have Santa for days. I do my utmost to avoid you. He loves me really. It's his sad way of showing affection. No, it isn't. Now shoot, get lost. Well, see you again later. See, you got on just fine. Charles is a wonder. Have a drink, boys. You earned it. Jesus, what is that? Navy rum, sir. It's the only thing. The only thing. 
she's saying it does. Yeah, oh. seems to have done a treat on you. Go rest that hand, Charles. It'll be fine in a few days. You mind helping me with the skinning, Mr. Morgan? It's easier if we do it together. I'll get to skin you. <coughs> You're always one with the jokes, aren't you? Ah. This really isn't a job for a man with a burnt hand. I'll see you both later. You skin that one, you, you dumped on the floor there. All right, time to get kinky. Oh yeah, you're gonna like this, aren't you? Oh yeah. Huh. Just gonna stand there and watch. Not too bad, Mr. Morgan. Yeah. They always said you were a butcher. You know, you could trade these, or sell these in pretty much any town. If you're looking to make a legitimate bit of money, of course. Right now, I'm just looking to get off this mountain alive. Well, if you catch anything else, you bring it to me. Sure. Thank you, Mr. Morgan. Heck, Arthur Morgan's first decent bit of hunting after all these years. <coughs> well, we're on the run now. Everyone's got to do their bit to survive. Just make a good stew. Folk need it. It's been a tough few days. <sighs> wow, all that. Good on me. A few days later. It's been a bad few weeks. But Has it? Dutch being Dutch, he is busy making plans. And Dutch being Dutch, those plans involve robbery and dreams. Well, I thought you was reading him his last rites. Now I see you're introducing him to your other passion. I'll mind you to show me some respect, Mr. Morgan. Mind away, Reverend. You still here, then? I owe you. Yeah. And you'll pay me. But for the moment, just rest. Arthur. I think it's time for the train. Want me to come? Of course I do, but... Look at you. I was always ugly, Dutch. It's just a scratch. Don't lie still, son. Hello, Abigail. Jackie. The boy wanted to see you, John. He's seen Papa. Me now. What's left of me? What about you? Is that supposed to be Norman Reedus? A corpse. Bide your time. You'll see plenty of them. You're a rotten man, John Marston. He is an idiot, Abigail. We all know it. Now, railway man. Bill, now you ride ahead and set the charge at the water tower just before the tunnel. Ain't a problem. Why are we doing this? Weather's breaking. We could leave. I, I thought we was lying low. Yeah, come on. What do you want from me, Hosea? I just don't want any more folks to die, Dutch. We're living, Hosea. We're living. Look at me. We're living. Even yeah. you. But we need money. Everything we have is in black water. You fancy heading back there? No. Listen, Dutch, I ain't trying to undermine you. I just... I just want to stick to the plan, which was to lie low, then head back out west. Now, suddenly we're about to rob a train. What choice have we got? Leviticus Cornwall's no joke, Dutchie. Well, who is Leviticus Cornwall? Well, he's a big railway magnet, sugar dealer, oil man. Well, sugar daddy? Him. Sounds like he has more than enough to share. Oh. Dutch. Gentlemen, it is time to make some. Maybe he's got me a new hat. Ourselves. Get your horses ready. We have a train to rob. And hats to get. Okay. Okay, gentlemen, listen up, all of you. Yeah. So kindly provided to us by the O'Driscolls, the train will be coming north from Big Valley. No oh, goody. Pick it off after it crosses the border into the Grizzlies. There's a little yeah. spot there that should give us good vantage. Charles, you'll keep lookout for any outriders. How's that hand, by the way? 
I'll be fine. Good. That worries me. I'll take the driver and engineer, then run point. Lenny and Javier, you two take the front cars, deal with any guards. Arthur and Micah, you head straight for the back. That's what we're after. Mr. Cornwall's private car. You and me, Morgan Gray. Me, you and me, Morgan, making sweet love. You keep your head for once. You worry about yourself, huh? Enough! After Bill blows the tracks, we're gonna need to move fast. Will we? Everyone clear on what they're doing? No. Crystal. Yes, boss. Good. Now come on. Let's ride. You know, it'd be nice if I had my hat back. I miss it. I miss my beautiful hat. Look at all these guys with their hats, and then there's me. It's like I'm not part of the gang anymore. Oh, what it was like to be part of the gang. <sighs> the days. The hat gang, that is. Not the current gang. The posse. The hat posse. Snow, finally. Feels good, doesn't it? But we need to get this done fast. Now it's thawing before anyone gets up here after us. Don't worry. Look at you boys. See? This is what I call a crew. Micah Bell, Charles Smith, Arthur Morgan, Javier Escuela, and what about young Lenny here? Always the first man on his horse. Fuck you, Lenny. Happy we're back at him, Dutch. You sure you're ready for this, kid? Of course I'm ready. Of course I'm ready. Keep your eyes sharp. That goes for all of you. This is so beautiful. Not again. So we do this, then we go back to Blackwater to collect. How many times you gonna ask the same question, Micah? That's a lot of damn money to leave sitting for too long. It would be crazy to go back there now. This will be swarming with Pinkertons. We go back when I say we go back, and that's the end of it. Money's safe. You'll just have to trust me. And I don't trust you. Are right, there'll be a stack of railroad bonds on this train. Good money. What an idiot! Once we work out how to cash them. Now everyone, shut up and get your mind on the job at hand. Come on, Arthur. Sorry. Hold up here on the ridge. Hello, boss. Is Bill there? Yeah. You want to head down? See how he's getting on? Okay. Who, me? Yeah. Oh, the rock, but the wall. What's up, Bill? How you getting on? Yeah. I'm okay. You sure? Of course. Can I help a little? Yeah. All right. Go ahead and set up the detonator by those rocks over there. Okay. Over here? Now just unspool the wire and then attach it to said detonator. I don't know, man. Oh boy, this is exciting. Oh. Okay, this is good. All right. That should do it. You head back up to the others. I got it from here. Okay, boy. Let's go. Yeah. How do you know I'm coming? Probably because they can see me. Here I come. Just be ready to move quick. And remember the plan. All of you. 
No mistakes. Uh, I'm he says all fine. We'll soon find out. Everything okay? I think so. Okay, cover your faces. Train should be here any minute now. Huh. That includes you, Arthur? Why are you doing this, Arthur? Just pull up your bandana. Oh, um... Uh, sorry, okay. Cover your face, or there we go. Gentlemen, it's time. Is it because I don't got a hat? Good luck, all of you. You all know what to do. It's not gonna go off. Shit, no, what? God, oh, you have gotta be kidding me. Where did you find that moron? You said it was fine. So it's my Come fault. on! You're pathetic. You know that? Uh. Eh. Come on, boys. Let's do this. Here we go. Here we go. Ah! Sorry. I don't know, man. Get your ass up here. Uh oh. 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 Oh.